Hi everyone, welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I'm Julie, and today we are going to be talking about, in our side-by-side -side comparisons, setting sprays and mineral mists, actually. Now, when I originally thought about doing this with these, which was last Monday, um, I was only going to do, well, I was going to do all four of these, but in my research, I have found that the Urban Decay, um, which is made by Scandinavia, or the Scandinavia one, up all night or the all nighter is not even in the same arena. It's just not even in the same arena. This is what you want to wear when you go to a rave or something, okay? So I'm just going to kick this right out of the whole mix. So what I have here are Mac Fix Plus, okay? Elf's uh, uh, Revitalizing Face Mist, and this is a new product, and then Elf's Makeup Mist and Set. And I think we all know and love this. Now, I am going to read right from the ELF website. I got my computer down here, okay? Now, for their mineral revitalizing mist, this is what the website says. Replenish and boost your skin with the revitalizing mineral, mineral mist. This unique blend of witch hazel, rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, aloe, vitamins, and vitamin B work together to balance and enhance the skin, leaving you looking energized and renewed. These nourishing key ingredients keep your complexion, youthful glow, blah, blah, blah. Um, sets your makeup, refreshes your makeup, you know. Basically, it does everything that these two say. Now, you are getting one fluid ounce in this bottle, and it costs $6, okay? That's, that's kind of pricey. For 6 bucks for one fluid ounce. Now, you are getting a beautiful package, I must say, but you're still only getting one fluid ounce. Now... With Elf's Mist and Set, let me bounce over here. With Elf's Mist and Set, you are getting 2.02 fluid ounces. And what this says is, wish you could have a product for your makeup, or wish you could have a product for your makeup, like hairspray is for your hair. Hair. Well, keep your makeup staying in place all day with the radiance boosting invisible hold with our new makeup mist and set. The high, the invigorating mist moisturizes and soothes the skin with key ingredients aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. The lightweight, comfortable, and alcohol-free formula improves makeup wearability and prevents color from running or fading. Now, I gotta tell you, I for the last week, I have been putting my face on and using a book to divide, you know, my face. And I've been spraying this on one half and this on the other. And and then I'll grab my 10 times magnified mirror here and I see no difference. None. It wears the exact same throughout the day. I don't see where the mist and set keeps my makeup on any better than the revitalizing mist. They both do the exact same thing. Now I have poured these out into little containers, little petri dishes I have, and yes, I have actually tasted both of them. They taste the same, and I don't mean I didn't drink it or anything, but, you know, I dip my finger in it and taste it, and they both taste identical. I literally do not see any difference in these two products. I don't know... I know that the website says that the Mineral Mist has a few more ingredients, and that might be true, but this one has just as many ingredients, they're just different ingredients. Whereas this one has witch hazel and uh, honeysuckle, this one's have vitamin A, C, and E, when this one doesn't. This one only says it has vitamins D in it. So, you know, it, they're saying they're different things, but they're doing the exact same thing to my makeup. Um, the same refreshing feeling, the same set, everything. So what I've been doing is dumping my bottles of this because I've got a ton of these. You know, every time I see them at TJ Maxx for, you know, two thirty seven instead of three bucks, I grab it. This is three, this is six. So I'll grab a bunch of these and I've been pouring them into this and mixing them with this solution because I feel like I'm getting the best of both worlds and they're doing the exact same things. Now on to Mac Fix Plus. Now, this bottle, of course, we all know is 21 bucks. There's three and a half ounces in here. So, this only's got an ounce in it. So, if you put three and a half ounces of this, you're, you're about talking the same, you know, maybe a buck cheaper, a buck fifty cheaper. So, basically, this e.l.f. item is the same cost as the Mac Fix Plus. Now, I've done a lot of research on the Mac as well, and from what I can tell, where, whereas MAC has a beautiful scent, 
Okay, we all know and love that that wonderful, refreshing Mac smell. Um, the only ingredients that I could really find on in Mac are, um, you know, cucumber. Cucumber is the base of it. Um, chamomile. They've got chamomile, and I read somewhere that it had um, uh, fennel seed in it, fennel in it. But I'm not sure. That was on somebody's blog. Um, they claim they took it down to their bio, their chemist friend and they found fennel extract in it. But I don't see that anywhere on the website, On uh, certainly not on any of my packages. Fennel has a very, very strong odor. I actually have some fennel extract that I use in my uh, eye creams and I do not smell fennel in here. So, But anyways, point being, MAC, from what I can tell, MAC has less good ingredients for your skin in it than the e.l.f. products. They all do the exact same thing. I could not tell any difference. Now, just like I took these two and sprayed either side of my face, I did the same with this, but with the e.l.f. products. Um, you know, I just separated my face and used one on each side, and I could not tell the um, longevity of it, you know, how it sets my makeup down. I couldn't tell any difference. And I've got a mirror here that is ten times magnified. <laughs> Ten times! And I could not tell any difference even in ten times magnified. Um, both of these products set my powders down exactly the same way. They make my makeup wear the same way throughout the day. Um, everything. I could tell no difference besides the smell and what I'm reading on them. And by all appearances, this one smells better, but these have a lot better stuff in them. Um, this one's going to cost you about the same as this for the same amounts. You're just getting a lot more packaging with this. Whereas with the Mac, you just get the one bottle for 21 bucks. With this, you're going to get three bottles for, you know, $16. If you add another ounce in, um, it's around three and a half, four bucks, and that's what is going to equal one of these. So, if I were to give anybody out there, unless you are a diehard Fix Plus user, which I am, I have got backup bottles of this stuff. And, and actually, I've got backups of this too, so I technically don't need to be buying no setting spray for a really, really, really long time. But anytime it goes on sale, which Mac never does, but I just feel like I the smell of this, and I've been using it for so long, you know, I am literally addicted to this product. However, after doing this research and looking all this up and knowing that I get the exact same, um, you know, effect out of the Elf Mist and Set, and this seems to have a lot better ingredients in it, it just doesn't have the scent, um, I am inclined to change my mind on this because I, I'm really, the packaging in this is lovely, and I must say the mist is a, a little bit finer than in the Mist and Set as well. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but um, I don't know if you can see that, but there is the Mist and Set, and here is the Face Mist. Okay, it's much, it's much finer and it it spreads out more. There's more of an area, whereas the mist and set is a little, um, kind of like micro droplets, you know. And this is an an actual mist. Oh, I hear my grandson up. So um, yeah, I would say that the two Elf products, by all appearances, seem to have better stuff in them than the Mac does. The Mac smells better, but these uh, have better goodies in them by what. I could find. Um, they all three do the exact same thing. I'm telling you, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of Mac lovers out there, and you're preaching to the choir, okay? I was at Mac's grand opening launch in New York City back in 91, and I mean, I know what the heck I'm saying. I am a Mac lover diehard. I have almost exclusive Mac down at my shop, but they're the same thing. I'm sorry, folks, but they're the same thing. Um, Elf has kind of, you know, been a little deviant in this one here because you're only getting one ounce for $6, and it seems to be the exact same thing that's in here. Maybe a little bit different ingredients, but I'll tell you what you do if you want them all to smell like Mac. Well, not exactly like Mac because this has got a nice, fresh, oceany, um, you know, just a lovely scent to it. However, what I've been doing with my mist and set, I will take one of two things, and that is either lavender oil, which I have, you know, I've got a ton of essential oils, and lavender and new royally have the most beautiful scents to them, and I'll put just one drop 
of lavender in it and then you have that gorgeous lavender scent or you can go a different route and go neroli and neroli has beautiful anti-aging properties it is one of the best things that you can get uh, best uh, um, essential oils that you can get for anti-aging and it also is in one in my eye cream that I am going to be doing for my DIY Monday tomorrow so you guys will be seeing how to make my my eye cream that I swear by this stuff, especially if you have really dry under eyes like I do. The rest of my face is an oil slick, but under my eyes is like Scabville if I don't use, you know, it's just bizarre. Anyways, I hate it. But there's your side by side, folks. Um, they all do the exact same thing $21 from MAC, $6 from e.l.f. for one ounce, or um, you know, $3 from e.l.f. for 2.02 ounces, max is 21 for 3.4, so really what it comes down to is, um, this is your best buy, obviously. Absolutely, hands down, the best buy. Drop you a drop of lavender or neroli oil in it, and hell, if you have to, if you just have to break out the Fix Plus on video and say, here's my Fix Plus, I'm going to spray my bottle on my face, then go down and get you a whole bunch of the Elf and pour it in your Fix Plus because you're not getting any different product. Period. Now, there might be some MAC people out there that might disagree with me on this. Um, I did go through a MAC sem um, training back in my early years, but I ended up taking a different route when I was working on the set of uh, Stephen King's The Stand down in Utah. Um, long ago, yes, I worked on the makeup crew of The Stand and... Uh, down in Ogden. I didn't travel with them wherever they filmed. I just worked in Ogden, you know, when I was going to college. I was right out of college. And I did go through MAC training, but I didn't learn anything about, you know, the details of the Fix Plus or anything like that. So if anybody out there has any details of what all is in the MAC Fix Plus besides what I could find online, please do tell me because I really couldn't find a whole lot um, besides the cucumber and the chamomile, you know, glycerin, all the normal things that are in all of these. But the the two elf ones have, you know, witch hazel, um, vitamins A, C, and D, chamomile, cucumber, green tea, which is excellent, aloe. I mean, these are just chuck full of really good things. Whereas I only found a few things on the Mac. You know, it's... I don't know, you guys, so if if I were you, I mean, if you have to buy that, then go ahead and buy it. But you're going to get by, and you're going to get the exact same results with your e.l.f. products. And uh, these are the only ones that I even have, so these, that's why I, you know, compared these two for you, or these three for you. But, um, yeah, this one smells better, but you're getting a way better value and better goodness for your skin in these. And it boils right down to the cheapest one is is um, the better deal all the way around all the way around so that is my side by side and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend I want to shout out all of my love and blessings and prayers to Natalie I just watched her video where she came on and gave us a little bit of update and showed us her two beautiful wigs and I thought that they both looked gorgeous personally I thought the little brown pixie one made her look youthful and radiant and I just thought it was a beautiful, beautiful, touching, glorious video, and my blessings and prayers go out to that beautiful, strong woman, and I love you. I know you don't know me very well, but um, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to change that because I adore you, and I thought that that video was just one of the most beautiful videos I have ever seen. So I hope you all having a wonderful weekend. Um, all of the information is in the down bar. Um, thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't already, please do. And um, I will see you tomorrow with the DIY and how to make this beautiful face cream or under eye cream. Okay, everybody, you have a good night. I've got Walking Dead to go make dinner for. Bye.